Podcasts are hot right now. How do I know? Well, you're listening to one right now, aren't you? But you might be wondering, how on earth do I get my voice out there and start my own podcast? It all seems so intimidating. Between hosting and platforms and monetization, it can get real complicated real quick. Well, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. We started this podcast over two years ago, not knowing clue one on how to do it. So how'd we do it? We did it with Anchor. Anchor is the free podcast app with creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. And Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. So it can be heard on all the platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. And everybody likes money, right? Well, you can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So go right now, download the free Anchor app, or go to Anchor FM to get started. It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your host, John Suter, Bart Moraz, and Brittany Blackman. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm located in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute, episode 762. And today's episode, Very Shop introduces a social e-commerce app. Very Shop has launched a new social media-inspired experience to bring joy and entertainment to online shopping. The new experience, exclusive to the Verishop iOS app, makes inspirational and entertaining content shoppable with the help of artificial intelligence technology. The company's co-founder and CEO, Imran Khan, said that using computer vision technology, the platform will show shopping recommendations for the product featured and similar options, end quote. Customers who purchase products through the platform can access free shipping, free returns, and 24-7 customer care. For now, only select brands and influencers can showcase products through the shoppable content, but the company said it will allow users to upload their own photos and videos in the coming months. The platform, which will receive a portion of sales made through the service in lieu of ads, will have over 600 brands, such as Madewell and Hill City Apparel and Oribe Hair Care Products. It will also showcase culinary, fashion, and interior design influencers. Imran Khan, who leads the startup and serves as an executive for Snap Incorporated in the past, said past social shopping companies were too geared on the fun parts at first instead of creating the complex groundwork. His company, however, flipped the strategy on its head and made an e-commerce website initially with complimentary returns as well as two-day shipping. The new experience is meant to bring entertainment to online shopping for millennial customers while keeping the purchasing process seamless with our best-in-class e-commerce foundation of only verified and vetted brands. One single cart, fast free shipping, free returns, one point of contact for 24-7 customer care, and best price guarantee. For brands, this will enable them to share their stories to our users who come to us with a discovery and shopping intent. Verishop says they believe that a brand is a promise and every brand has a story to tell. With this new experience, the brands on Verishop will have a unique space to illustrate what they are all about. This is quite the breath, breathy press release here. It sounds so exciting. It sounds like whatever, <laughs> everything that Instagram is not. <laughs> True. And none of it. None and is anybody of having it. problems with Instagram lately? Like it being a dumpster fire of just um, fast motion ads selling things that you never receive in the mail? Well, that's partially that. And then it's just a dumpster fire of everything else, right? I think every social media is like basically just dumb now. I yeah. hate what Instagram has become. I used to love Instagram. It used to be my favorite. Wait till they add TikTok to it. Oh, ew. Oh, yeah. they, it's they coming. They were like, let's take chronological order away and completely start making uh, up an algorithm. Yeah. Just that is so annoying. Too. making it up. Yeah. Just, so when I open Instagram in the morning and I see three consecutive posts of my ex girlfriend's dog from three exactly. days ago, it's like, I don't care. <laughs> exactly. Don't care. Right. But the problem also is like even the stories, right? You see the same three people you click on because you yeah. shoot, like, because you look at it for two seconds and it's the same people over mm-hmm. and over and over because they want you to scroll forever. And you're like, well, no, that's, that makes no sense anymore. Like, it's stupid. Yeah. It used to be a great place for visual discovery, but now it's full of memes, bad ads, people complaining. From the same people, right? From the same sure. people. Like, why, right, why am I seeing the same ad for the mm-hmm. same thing over and over and over and over and over and over? So what I did was I tried to unfollow a bunch of people, try to clean up the timeline a little bit. It doesn't really help. I understand the targeting. They understand what I'm into. So I see a lot of like ads mm-hmm. for crappy bike products and crappy other kind of products, but ads are just so bad. And so what I did was like, okay, I'll follow some hashtags, but then people do hashtag pollution and it's, you get like the weirdest crap. It used to be just a great place that I could just like, all right, I'm going to get away. I'm going to look at some cool art and some lettering and some other things like that. There's so much less of that being shown to me now Mm -hmm. that it's, I wind up now only looking Instagram maybe one time a day. Yeah. You can tell that they've really shifted towards only benefiting influencers 
Yeah, I wonder what's happened when they release Reels, which is obviously their TikTok thing. But if you look at TikTok now, like, yeah, the algorithm on TikTok is kind of crazy. Ugh, it's it's different. It's just they're the way they're doing it is like the technology of it. The algorithm is amazing, but like what it has lately is like it, it's the same thing over and over on every single social media now, and it's just it's all political, and it's just you can't escape it. You basically just got to turn it all off. Just to vouch for that TikTok algorithm thing, after literally like a month of being on TikTok, I scrolled across this TikTok that was like, if you're reading this TikTok, you're an early 20s anxious girl who's obsessed with One Direction. I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Like I was shaking. Definitely. They do an amazing job. Like it's definitely has, and then like that calculation, however they're doing it is incredible just from the technology tiktok totally got the addiction part down so if you join oh, tiktok yeah. and you post one video they'll automatically push you up to the top so you get likes and you get hooked on the likes and then your second video gets less likes and your third video gets less likes than that and you wonder well what am i doing wrong well i have to make more content i have to make more content and they get mm-hmm. you they get you hooked man they get you hooked on the likes yeah i right. posted a random video of hoagie and it got like 80 likes. I was like, what? And you're like, I'm an influencer. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I started uh, putting my Instagram in my bio, the whole thing. Yeah, I like how they do, it's per per piece of content and not just that person, which is kind of cool. But yeah. True. We'll see what uh, happens. I mean, so, if it gets banned, now it's going to go back to Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Well, then it's, or it could be switch the ownership to the American company and then it goes public and who knows what's going to happen. Yeah. What do we know about Veroshop? We don't really talk about them too much. We did maybe one or two podcasts on them when they, when they launched. Imran Khan, he's a very outspoken person. He worked for Snapchat, but we don't really talk about it. I've looked on the site a few times. It's a very nicely curated selection. It's more high end, not really stuff that I would probably buy, but very good selection. Britt, have you poked around? Like, what's your experience? I really haven't done much. It's because I don't really get it. I get intimidated by things that I don't immediately understand. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, we're so far, <laughs> I forgot they even existed. Yeah. And when I read that title, I was like, what is this? Yeah, they're growing. And I guess we're like everybody else. We don't really understand it. I mean, if you look at the app, the app looks like Instagram. It's a shoppable Instagram knockoff. No shame in that. But, you know, I don't know any other way you would design a UI. So they're very based on the visual aspect of it, which I can appreciate. And I think which people, especially younger people can appreciate. So they're trying to make something viral, something engaging. I just don't know where it's going to go because there's so much competition. And once they start getting traction, Instagram will come along and say, hmm, okay, they're doing this X, Y, and Z. We're going to copy that and blow them out of the water because that's how we do things in tech these days. We just copy what the other guy's doing. But they have a lot of good shops on here. So they have individual shops. So the work from home shop, you click on that. And it's basically a curated selection of like creams, jellies, pajamas, pillows, chapsticks, speakers, you know, things like that. But really nice quality. I mean, this isn't like shopping on Wish. Like this stuff, is, <laughs> you know, you know, Days of the Week underwear pack, $185. Oh H5 God. Spiral Hybrid Humidifier, $169. Bluetooth headphones, $150. So we're not talking crap here. This is all, I would assume, quality products. You know, hand cream, $45. I mean, uh, you better have some really messed up hands to use $45. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, we have to apologize because we don't really have that much experience, you know, shopping or even investigating, but, you know, they keep coming on the radar. So something to look out for. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. All right. We got one stat. In January, Vera Shop said their traffic is growing 100% month over month. So there's some growth there. Uh, again, we'll keep an eye on Vera Shop and see what happens. So everything's going to be social shopping in the future. That is your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.